We've got the 301 brake horsepower Ford Focus RS, the most powerful hot hatch on sale. Then there's the Volkswagen Sirocco R, the most expensive at £28,500. And finally, there's the Renault Sport Megane 250 Cup, the cheapest and least powerful here. The quickest lap time wins, and to make sure the times are comparable, Tiff will take the wheel, while I keep tabs on him. The £28,000 Focus, the heaviest of our cars, is up first. It's incredible. It's got more power, more torque than all the others, and it's got a Revo knuckle front suspension, Ooh, which it. should help. Oh, well, it's... <laughs> It's going. not helping much now. Look, here's the start finish line. Get that right, stopwatch okay, going. A Revo knuckle. I watch But it's similar to the Renault Megane's. Yeah. Got it. Perfo hub. So basically, it locks down the front yeah. and it hunkers down the front end <laughs> and helps reduce yeah. torque steer so that you can tuck it into the corners nicely. Oh, get that apex. It's lovely. It's a real driver's car. I don't see the others beating this on the track. OK, here we go. Stop the clock, set the pace for the fourth focus act. <sighs> 127.91. So, can the £23,000, 247-horsepower Renault Sport Megane beat that? It's over 50 horsepower down compared to the Ford, but it's nearly 100 kilos lighter. <laughs> I don't know whether it's going to be quick or not. It, it's not as nice to drive. Turn in. It understeers a bit more. When I lift off mid-corner, the front's washing more than the Ford did. Yeah. I can almost hear the understeer. Yeah. The diff almost works too well on the turn in. Yeah. But I think it's got fantastic acceleration and grip on the way yeah, out. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, <laughs> referee. Do you want me to drive? <laughs> They're very different cars, yeah. very different, but which is the quickest? 126.42, which is quicker by a second and a half. No. Yep. Are you sure? Yep. You see, you can't always feel speed. Finally, the 261 horsepower Volkswagen Scirocco R. It's more powerful than the Renault and only slightly heavier, but will it handle as well? Curbs, curbs. It doesn't adjust like the Ford did and doesn't crimp like the Renault did, so it's yeah. almost not the worst of both worlds. Anyway, the finish line comes. It's the time that counts. 128.4, which means it's last. Doesn't even beat the Ford. Doesn't even beat the Ford. So the Renault Megane is the winner. By a long way. The 247 BHP Renault Sport Megane is undoubtedly our favourite hyper hatch. It's so good, we wondered if it could beat something from a totally different league. So we thought we'd give it a tougher challenge against this, a Porsche Boxster. A two-lap dogfight against one of our favourite handling cars. It is going to be a stern test. And I actually reckon the grunt and grip of this Renault is going to be a match for that Porsche. And I never thought I'd say that. Oh, bit of wheel spin. If he's got the lead. Let's get right on his tail, a little wiggle on. His car's definitely got some more traction off the line and out of the slower corners. Into this piff path now. Whoa. Whoa, we've got a bit of oversteering and we're, we're potentially in real trouble now. Which gives me the perfect opportunity to slip up his inside. Oh, that Porsche looks good for this long corner. High speed, it looks very poised. Oh, sideways, sideways. He's made the mistake I was looking for. That's going to let him through. <laughs> Which is exactly what's happened. I can't get any quick. I've got understeer turning in. I can't get into the apex. I can slap breaker. I'm sure I can. I can, I can, I can. Oh, I can't. Once again, look, she's going sideways and I can get that extra speed up the inside. Oh, maybe I lost the momentum. I thought I had to out accelerate into the line. Oh, yes. And she crosses the line, the winner! No, 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 no! Well done, Porsche. Definitely the 
Renault's got more traction out of the corners in these greasy conditions, but the Porsche's got that extra balance and poise that helped win it the day. At the end, there was less than two seconds in it, which means the Wizards of Renault Sport have made one very impressive piece of hatchback indeed.